Welcome back to Treasure Hunting with Jeebus, guys, and we are over two hours away from home, somewhere way out in the country. Never been to this facility before. We were actually on the way to North Carolina and saw this going off along the route and said, why not pick it up? So we paid $40 for this unit, not too much in there, but fingers crossed there's some cool stuff in there. So without further ado, let's get there. Right, guys so like we said not too much in this storage unit but we just figured it's a nice like halfway break on our drive so for 40 bucks why not let's see what we got first thing we see hot tomato shoebox i gotta say i have never heard of hot tomato in my life but they are in there and they actually look in good shape i mean there's a little bit of dirt on the side but overall these shoes are still in good shape they're on sale for only 30 bucks so used you might get five to ten not a big money maker but still Cool, I guess. That didn't work well. <laughs> but I guess we can say these are in there. These are bamboo. Are they actually made of bamboo? It looks like it, doesn't it? It looks like it could be bamboo. But anyway, they look to be in really good shape. If ever worn at all, maybe a little bit. There's a little bit of stuff on the bottom. That might just be a price sticker. But does this box have a price on it? These are $36 shoes, so. Again, probably same price range, five to 10 bucks a piece. Those maybe 10, the other ones maybe five, because those look like they've never been worn. More shoes. Charlotte Roos. No, they're in there too. These have definitely been worn, but not very much. It's just like a lot of, I mean, even look at the bottom, it's just dirt. Like brush these off with a wipe, and these will basically look brand new. Nice pair of shoes. What's the price tag on it? These are 46, we're going up. 30, 40, 40 something. All right, let's find a hundred some dollar pair of Jordans or something, that'd be nice. Oops. This is a mixer, if that's what's actually in there, we don't know. A sewing machine. A sewing machine? <laughs> it is a sewing machine, it looks like a mixer, doesn't it? Yeah, let's just right. put a bowl on it. But let's see if that's actually what's in there or not. Yeah, that's what's in there. You can see in that crack. I don't want to open it any more than that rip, but it is in there. No idea how much a sewing machine like that would go for. Stiff. Blue container. Heavy. School junk. Guess we had some type of student. Uh, let's see. Hey, look. Somebody's diploma. So we'll return this to the what front. Richmond Public Schools, it doesn't say the exact school. Armstrong. Oh, Armstrong. Never heard of it. Nope. <laughs> I guess that's probably a yearbook too, so I might turn that stuff in. The rest of it's just random stuff. Let's look at the like drawer. <laughs> like Andrews. it does not close. A lot better than I can do. That's it. Not much of a use, but so. We got that much. We got a student. Or at least a former student. It's always fun piecing together the story as you go through these things. Sing bug! Ready guys? For all those bug lovers, size 15. <clears throat> Just for you. Just for you. I don't know. I don't know. Ah, I do. He's dead. He did. Alright. Let's check out this great coat. Ooh, it's got fur on the hood and everything. Alaska Frontier, ever heard of it? No, what size is that? An XL. Woo woo! You ain't fitting on me. I'm pretty sure it's a woman's. <laughs> My coat. That looks cool. I mean, it's a nice coat. Maybe it's a nice brand. Or keep it if you want. Yeah, I'll probably keep it. All right. Other clothes. Yeah, that's new. Please handle with care, just to Ugh. Beldini. That. And that's it. Right. What is this? This is bothering me. Just like a hat rack or something? Or like a hat holder? I don't know. Somebody tell me what that is in the comments. So I don't know. Let's look in this one. 
I see some jeans in there with purpose rips on them. I never get the like the rips and jeans for style. It looks weird. Like that much. Like a little bit like this, I don't know, but like when you're actually like, seeing your skin through it, I'm like, why do you do all that? But anyway, there's like bras in here, so I don't really want to go through it like that since I don't have gloves with me. Oops. But yeah, it looks like dirty clothes. Another one. Can you guys get out of here? I'll let that one live. I think he just fell out. <laughs> Ooh, leather hat. Mm, made in China. It's kind of cool looking. What's in the box? Something is for sure. What do we got? Oh! What? <laughs> well, that's just brilliant. <laughs> just brilliant, man. This is like what, the third time finding stuff like this, but this time we get the woman's version. <laughs> Just so we wanted. This is why we come out here. Where's all the condoms at? I know, right? We gotta find condoms. That's part of the storage unit business. Finding a bag of condoms that you just like make jokes with with random people forever. Um. What is that? What? Lift up the clothes. Looks like we have a tablet. An Android DX752, if it's in there. Uh, oh. Let's see what's in there in a second. But the tablet is definitely in. Look at that watch. That's brand new. That's, well, it was brand new. Tablet's definitely in there. That's the same one in the box. I don't know if it's a good one or not. It's hard to tell. Let's look at the corner. I mean, it's probably not something worth selling, but maybe. We'll look it up. Let's see what's in these boxes. It looks like a glasses case, but who knows if it's true. Oh, it's glasses. Broken glasses, so probably trash. But we'll keep the case. I keep the case for like designer glasses to ship them in. What's in here? Crown jewels. <laughs> That's kind of funny. All right. Anything else interesting in here? Hair weaving net. Jump. Is this the one we just went through? I'm scared to like put my hand in there nowadays. Let's do it like this. Blue thing. Oh god, what is that? Oh, jump rope. Oh, jump rope. <laughs> I thought it was like, you know, what we just found, but we're on a wire. <laughs> I forgot to bring my gloves this time. Yeah, no, of course we forget to. We're going out of town. We didn't even plan on buying this storage unit until like an hour ago. <laughs> oh, we just saw it. Another little doll there. Cool. But yeah, this storage unit was not part of our original plan, so we weren't really prepared for it and hoping this all even fits in the car. Let's see what we got in here. Lagana, whatever the heck that says. Some curls, fake hair. One of those giant Christmas cards that I always see in like Rite Aid and places like that. It's got too much personal info in it. Another pair of shoes though. Oops, trash falling everywhere. Wanted. It's the price on these, 40 bucks. So none of them are expensive, but they'll add up. Definitely get our 40 bucks back. I'm scared to just like reach into anything now. This looks like cap and gown. We're just put the diploma and stuff in there and take it back. Yeah, that's brand new. Look at that. Rats getting colors. I know, it's gross. Rats getting suck. But I think, yeah, that's like a hat and diploma, or gown and diploma, or gown and hat. You can't talk. This is all fake hair. Just like literally tons of different fake hair. Yeah. Oh my gosh, there's a horde of them. Get out of here! Uh, makeshift gloves. You already know what's coming, right? It had to be done like that. He's still alive. He just watched all his brothers die. Can you guys get out of here? Alright. Oh, the mannequin. Oh my gosh! Oh. That's a full mannequin! <laughs> 
Last time we found a mannequin, we did it. Yeah, does this have the stand with it? No. This one has the stand. Or no, it doesn't. But still, last time we sold a mannequin for 50 bucks. We gotta clean it out. Yeah, we'll probably take the mannequin out and just put the mannequin alone in there and throw the box away before we get out of here because I really don't want to put it in the car. But looks like that's everything. We'll go everything in more detail, load it up in the car. I guess maybe we get to the hotel room, we'll go through everything again and see if we find anything else. But until then, I guess I'll see you then. All right, guys, so let's do a recap on this storage unit. There really wasn't nothing hidden that we didn't find out. The only thing that I realized afterwards is that the metal stand we thought was a hat rack actually does go to the mannequin. So the mannequin is 100% complete, including the stand. And last time we found one, we sold the mannequin without the stand and the arm was loose for 50 bucks. So this one's in perfect condition and it has a stand. So that'll easily probably come close to doubling the money on the unit. Everything else is just raving on top of that. But anyway, we weren't really expecting much from this. Like I said, this unit was more so just a break on our drive and we figured, why not? It looks fun. And we got quite a bit of a surprise, you know what I mean? The mannequin and the, I'm not gonna mention, the thing in the box will say all that, which is just, I don't know, funny. We're gonna have to do something with that. That's gonna be a prank somehow. Probably not on video, because YouTube will get mad at me, but we will definitely use that as a prank somehow. But anyway, guys, it's gonna be it. So thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, make sure you leave it a big fat thumbs up. If you're not already, hit that subscribe button for awesome treasure hunting videos every single day of the week. If you wanna follow us on our social media links, they'll be on screen. Just click the links down in the description below. Make sure you follow us on whatever you have. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, peace out.